Hey everybody, it's it's your boy Dire Gentleman, and I am really excited uh, with all the attention the channel's been getting lately. I, I've been really busy, obviously, but I figured we're not quite at 10k yet, but I figured it might be nice to respond to some comments before the ask ask me anything. Uh, and here with me today is Henry Galley, Meg Tootin, and Charlie Porritt. Hello. Hello. I am also here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you guys keep pulling this stuff on me, and maybe I should have you guys introduce yourselves individually, because every single time it's this strange hive mind chorus of hello. I like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bold of you to assume that Henry and I are two people. We're actually two heads on one hydra like dragon body. Like <laughs> I've seen that theory video, and I've disputed it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the future feminist swan. <laughs> Good God. So, so Henry, who is, um, I'd say one of the more organized out of all of us, has gone through uh, my channel's uh, video history and found some of the spiciest, most interesting, most delectable comments that we are going to read here today. Yeah, you know, it was difficult because the, uh, the Dark Gentleman channel, like, I mean, how do I put this nicely? You need to have a very high IQ to understand a Die Gentleman video. And as a result, the comments that you get are these very kind of highbrow, like New York Times editorial quality stuff. So the hardest part, honestly, was narrowing it down to just these comments because they're all like a brain trust yeah. out there. Yeah, I mean, I've yes. seen some of them and they are like deeply uh, thought provoking. The, yeah, the, but these are like, this is the creme de la creme. Oh, this is the galaxy brain stuff. But yeah, this is the galaxy brain, like, Mensa shit. Well, that's good to hear. You know, I obviously, I love my audience, and I think very highly of their intelligence, so I should hope that you are telling me the truth right now, and that these comments will be stimulating and thought-provoking in all the ways I'm hoping. Gus, would I lie to you? Today would be the first time... As fans of the Lily Orchard video will know, we hate engaging in bad faith over here at the Dire Gentleman channel, so I'm just going to read these comments exactly as read, nothing out of- exactly as written, nothing out of context, just very fair and balanced. Okay, so, um, I've gone through four years of content for this. Whoa, okay, four years of content, that's like dating back to the Precambrian era in YouTube time. Exactly, exactly. But the thing is, it's the first comment response video, so it had to be special. Yeah. Anyway, is everybody Got ready it. for number one? Mm -hmm. And I'm sure they'll uh, appear on the screen via yes. Gus's editing magic. Uh, from Kitsune Neko, seven months ago. I'm a big fan of Monster Girls. I read the Monster Girl Encyclopedia and own both books. I have mixed feelings about these videos. I like them because they are funny. I also don't like them because they don't let my Monster Girls... Maybe perhaps I should start my own channel and review Monster Girls, but channel is really getting to me. If he goes right now, by that I mean none need to do more on YouTube. Perhaps I should. Have you ever had a dream? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what? Wait, wait, okay, hold on. Can we back up a little bit? What, what can't the monster girls do because of me it's very clear. what am i preventing the monster girls from doing <laughs> all right i'll, 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 I'll read this. they I'll don't read this let my again. monster girls maybe perhaps you need to let the monster girls maybe perhaps i i, I mean maybe P perhaps <laughs> what isn't clear to you about this I, I i just okay who is this person kitsune kitsune, kitsune, kitsune Neko. Neko. they are both a cat and a fox that's amazing but um, I think that, uh, Kitsune Neko, uh, if you're watching this, you should start your own YouTube channel. Uh, just, you know, if you're passionate about it, go for it. Yeah, I, I personally Maybe would. perhaps you should. Yeah, I personally would Maybe, perhaps, Maybe perhaps, perhaps you should. Kitsune Neko. I would love to hear what Kitsune Neko has to say about the entire Monster Girls universe. They clearly have very... Very strong opinions on this yes. matter. Yeah, I'd maybe perhaps be very interested in those as well. Especially if the Monster Girls in their videos can, maybe, perhaps. Like, far be it from us to stop Monster Girls from doing anything. You know, we're all about empowerment. Ladies, it is okay mm. to maybe, perhaps. Yeah. Free speech, the right to bear arms, and then the yeah. right for Monster Girls to maybe, perhaps. Alright, so next we have another somewhat ambivalent comment from a Mr. Harry R. Uh, three months ago. So, <clears throat> I love and hate this video. I'm one hand, it's enlightened me to MG's misogyny, lollies with a possessive apostrophe, and rapey shot, but it also intensely strawmans and gaslights the community. 
I hope you do. Damn. That's why they call Ooh. it ends, but I hope, frankly, you all feel bad about yourself. Well, I mean, you should look to you. You are also guilty. You're in all of these videos as well. You're also guilty of, of strawmanning and gaslighting. Yeah, before we get too bogged down in the meme laws of this whole thing, I genuinely want to know <laughs> where <laughs> in Monster Girl Safari I am making fans of the website question their own sanity in relation to Kenku Cross's work. Is it is it all the comments about us saying these came out of a basement? Are we are we <laughs> preventing them from thinking Kenku Cross is a real person? Gus, Gus, it's all the anonymous giggity comments you've left on uh, the monster comments of On the they're like, Quagmire oh my god, those were left by a real fan. Does Quagmire is real and is on Monster Girl so, on Monster Girl Wiki? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just imagine Glenn Quagmire encountering like some Venus flytrap monster girl and he's like, all right, wait, no, no, it's not all right. And then being devoured. The best episode <laughs> of Family Guy in years. <laughs> Highest ratings. Shall I uh, read the next one? Go this for one, it. Gus, is actually only about your sins. Meg, Oof. Charlie, and I get to feel sort of Oof. very good about this because this was on <laughs> your... Uh, <laughs> yeah, this was on your Jordan Peterson's uh, Frozen Freakout video. So this is all on you, my You're friend. You're being put on blast. Damn, I mean, as long as they don't mention uh, th that, I think that we'll be fine. This is uh, from a year ago from an account called Laz Hobbies. I was actually going to watch the video, but then I read your weak, aggressive, slash baity description. It's cool that you're using a popular anime to extend your reach. Good idea, actually. But being a prick, even if you're playing it off as sarcasm or being cheeky, is meh. Not going to downvote because you're, you're do you, but nah, not for me. Sorry, I was completely wrong. This was on the Goblin Slayer video. <laughs> I was gonna Jordan say, Peterson, my, my favorite, favorite anime. anime. <laughs> yeah, my favorite. Jordan's Bizarre my Adventure. Fa <laughs> <laughs> my two favorite animes are Jordan Peterson and Cory of the House. <laughs> Jordan's, Bizarre, Jordan's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> Jordan's Bizarre Sorry. Adventure is about him traveling to Russia and then entering the dream realm for several months. It's an isekai. To go and chase <laughs> down his enemies. It's, it, it's an isekai. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's all about him Where's going it? to another world in the land of dreams and discovering his <laughs> next 12 rules. Be, be, be nice. His fans are really sensitive. They might <laughs> collapse in on themselves like dying yes. stars if you even slightly criticize him. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that due, due to my due to my fuck up, we managed to take this comment about Goblin Slayer and somehow like drive by Jordan Peterson. In I the I don't even okay. Here's the thing: I don't even remember exactly what my description was in the Goblin Slayer video, <laughs> but I think it was something like, "If you like Goblin Slayer, you're a in parentheses insert pejorative here." And then I'm like, "Nah, you are what you are." But this show sucks. So it's yeah, like, that, that, that was... is what they're so offended about? <laughs> oh no, you, you, you said in the comments something about having shit taste. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I, well, I stand by that. Do you think maybe the, in parentheses, insert pe pejorative here, do you maybe think that the pejorative he chose was so <laughs> awful? Oh! That yeah! he felt like you were personally... <laughs> I he picked the worst picked word, the really and he's like, one. oh my god, he just called me a <laughs> <laughs> Oh picked, my god! He picked some slurs. Gus, that... I think Charlie's now oh. it. He's got it. Holy shit! He imagined I you saying just... some awful things to him. I should have just picked, yeah. like, I just should have said Noonie or something, like, because whatever yeah. he put in those parentheses <laughs> was, like, beyond the pale. I, I'm yeah. so, I apologize to everybody the in the hobbies. world. Because because whatever's in those parentheses, I, I placed those parentheses there. I created a situation in which any possible pejorative could be directed at any possible person. It's the it's quite the vibranium shield of like yeah. a description. Because anything fired at it will just reflect black at the person. It just it <laughs> does so it doesn't true. obey the laws of physics. <laughs> it doesn't. Now, now that we've all realised the issue there, thanks to Charlie's deductive ability, mm. and uh, apologise rightly to Laz Hobbies for I just watched BBC Sherlock. <laughs> yeah! Uh, time for the next one. Mm. This is from The Mean Frickeroni. <laughs> who's, uh, that could be the pejorative. Their icon is... That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a delicacy. I would I mean, never call somebody that. That is a delicacy. I mean, like, imagine... Get yourself a Frickeroni. 
Oh, that is one mean frickeroni. <laughs> I'm listen. If that's what he chooses to call himself, that's okay. He's reclaimed that. But I would never call anyone that. His icon, by the way, is cool cat in a suit. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, of course it is. Th this actually has a twist ending. So the the comment is, hmm, if I made something this bad, I would be too embarrassed to ever make a video again. And what's amazing is, uh, you liked this, Gus? Twist. I did. <laughs> that I is did. a twist. <laughs> so the reason why is because on the day I got this comment, I tweeted it out. With that comment, and then a picture of his channel, and just, it says, this channel has no content. <laughs> so maybe that's autobiographical, which, this happened to him. Yeah, which to me implies a backstory in which he created something that was uh, equal, if not worse, than what I made, and he then subsequently stopped making content. Say what you will, it's, it's a, a murder of his suicide. Words. It's a murder suicide. <laughs> that's a one mean. <laughs> that's a one a mean frickeroni. Oh, a boopy. Anyway, uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, Baba I, I, have, I have a lot of Italian friends. Um, <laughs> God after, damn it! After you hear me, I'm not your shield. Next, like Rudy Giuliani. After you hear me reading this, next my uncle. One, hey, don't talk shit about my <laughs> uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. After you guys hear me reading this Your next uncle, one, the melting man. You're going to My uncle, so Berlusconi. After, after you guys hear me reading this next one, you're going to have immense respect for my ability to read all of these without laughing. Anyway, so, your question mark able truth plus lobster man's no apostrophe PhD slash study equals opinion dot 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 and the truth uh, camel case doesn't care about opinions, no matter where or who they come from, I'm staying in the JP camp slash the shadow self hyphen Carl Young dot 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 and finding capital my way. I think a robot wrote this. Ooh, what? Yeah, this is a bot. This is <laughs> oh, what happened to this? Like, I think that's a that's this? an equation. <clears throat> that this was written by a procedurally generated AI. This is from a man called Jerry Dane, whose profile pic is the two wolves inside a soul. <laughs> and those wolves oh, are God. Oh, well, the, one is called the Toby. turtles are fighting. The other is called Toby. <laughs> I mean, one of them, one of those wolves definitely won, and I think it was, like, the <laughs> the, the, the unintelligible wolf. Yeah. <laughs> it was the maths wolf. It won over the <laughs> um, speech wolf. <laughs> yeah. I have eaten you, brain wolf. <laughs> this guy is, like... He's talking in the base code of the universe. Yeah, if he keeps making comments like this, he'll eventually just be able to rewrite reality around the him. The agents from the Matrix are going to go pick this guy up for, like, subversive acts. Yeah. I think what he is trying to say is that Jordan Peterson has a PhD, and therefore he's going to listen to him. Also, he's in a, like, battle with his shadow self in Carl Jung's dreamscape. That's what I got from it, anyway. <laughs> that That's, you know, that's the symbolism of the two wolves. Yeah. That's him and Jordan Peterson in the dreamscape, fighting each other. <laughs> one of the wolves is him, one of the wolves is Jordan yeah. Peterson. Yeah, there, there, there are two wolves inside of everybody. One is a wolf, and the other is a wolf, and they symbolize nothing. Help me, I'm being attacked by wolves. Um, <laughs> Help me, I'm in a coma. Inside of you are two wolves. I don't know how you're still alive. This is the worst x-ray I've Next ever seen. God, we're, <laughs> we're two for two. Suck it, Jordan. <laughs> Next, we have another Jordan one. I have no idea what's going on in this man's profile picture. Something's on his head. Is that a dog? <laughs> that's a dog? <laughs> licking his head. Yeah, that's a dog licking his head. <laughs> okay. Um, that's where all the nutrients oh are stored. Virtuo Virtuo <laughs> yep. <laughs> like a salt lick, which is appropriate he's given how salty it. this comment he's, is. He, he's licking anyway. all his, like, like smartness out. <laughs> the dog is gaining intelligence. The dog's gonna starve. Anyway, uh, Virtuoso <laughs> Joe underscore AZDZ from two months ago. Look up, quote, Jordan Peterson Frozen, unquote. Watch three minutes of any footage aside from this. You will quickly find a concrete answer. I have lost all faith in your ability to research with any amount of accuracy. I would compliment your slandering abilities, but your poorly articulated psychological views mixed with the insulting childish outburst was embarrassing to say the least. 
Why would you want this video to be seen by others? Gus, why? Answer him. Does this does this mean he's not gonna compliment my slandering ability? No. <laughs> I'm really proud of my slandering ability, okay? Gus. The Gus, fact that he's Gus. found other reasons. I will compliment your slandering ability. You're a great thank you, slanderer. Thank you. Gus. I just I get really sensitive when right. people think I'm not a no good slanderer. No one slanders slander. like Gus. I'm the best slanderer there is, and anyone who says otherwise is slandering me, and that's <laughs> Gus, my thing. I so wanted you. I so wanted you to say something like Gus. I'm the best slanderer there is, and anyone who says otherwise is a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Maybe I need to brush up on my slander skills. Yeah. Yeah. You've got you've got some slander power on me. Exactly. Um. <laughs> oh shit. Woo. You can slander me any day, Gus. Gotcha. The, Jeez. Oh. This next one is actually a nice comment. It's strange, but it's nice. Aw. Oh. I mean, I think I think this aw. is from the appropriately named J Cool Guy. I can't even remember what video I took this from, but what I love is that this could apply to a number of your videos, Gus. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you. I understand very little of the video, but the dread instilled by watching it is good enough. <laughs> Kindest regards, J. Cool Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Come back that, anytime, oh J. Cool God. Guy. Come back anytime. That, you know what? To be fair, I don't know what video that was. That could be almost anything. <laughs> See, that's that's the reaction I want to get oh, out of God. people. <laughs> For some of my stuff, anyway. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> I don't understand this, but it fills me with the most remarkable sense of dread. Good. Good. <laughs> yes. That's the channel tagline. <laughs> your new about section. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> about, you will... You won't understand it, but it will fill you with dread. <laughs> My new about section, soon. This is from Zeth underscore uh, 27. 21 hours ago, edited. So I wonder what this was before it was edited. Huh. So th this is like, the, the like we say in the Kenku Cross uh, Monster Girl things a lot. So this is it after they've decided. Oh yeah, no, this is definitely the best mm. version. Yep. Yeah. The people that the people well. that the people that um cloned him from Zeth Prime, they wanted to make sure that his comment was <laughs> in its perfect form when we read it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, Charlie. Absolutely. Anyway, so this was commented on our uh, Vivzy Pop Club uh, video. Well, dot dot dot. Episode two is out now. All caps. I'm not putting words in the mouth. God, you people are annoying. <laughs> and I can't tell if he's talking about <laughs> Gus and I or Vivzy Pop Club. And in either instance, <laughs> why? Because if it's about Vivzy Pop Club, why wouldn't you comment that on Vivzy Pop Club? And if it's about you guys, uh, do you not understand the idea that sometimes things happen earlier? Yeah, sometimes earlier. <laughs> I like to imagine that this person is, like, kind of being, like, tsundere. They're like, well, uh, episode two is out now, just so you know, but ugh, you're so annoying. Ugh. Like, yes. like, like, blushingly just dropping episode two into our hands and being like, whatever. Episode two is out now. Baka. Baka. Don't, don't say I never did anything for negative. you, Baka. Uh, fine. Guess you are my little pog champ. It's, if I must be the one to tell you. It's, it's not because, it's, it's not, it's not, it's, 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 it's not because I like you, like, 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 like you or anything. Huh. Uh. Gus, you sounded like you just, like, vibrated so hard. <laughs> <laughs> imperceivable to the naked eye. Yeah. <laughs> just like Saitama, just like going full Sundari. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. <laughs> this is from a Diavolo, but a fish, three days ago. <laughs> is that a motherfucking Jojo reference? <laughs> I love Joji's Bizarre Adventures. I love Filthy Frank. Yes. <laughs> Read the comment. I am wanted in 37 states for vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> this is the best comment. FBI. This is the best comment. <laughs> we got one. What? That guy just slandered himself. I didn't say that. <laughs> fucking Mr. Mercedes over here. Okay, message to all my viewers and subscribers. Don't make me an accomplice to your crimes, please. <laughs> Turn yourselves in. 
That's what they're trying to do. They, they trust you. Look, anyone who's a criminal in my audience, please turn yourselves in. Cut to like the next morning, zero <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> the, the biggest terrorist cell in North America was recently no! after they all surrendered they to They worshipped the, their deity, dire gentlemen. The dire, dire hearts. hearts. The dire hearts. The hearts. The dire hearts. Hearts. Live free or Holy die hard. <laughs> they, they had a bunker with like six tons of Semtex in it. They and they, just... they were they were they were uh, sending it out to the world uh, disguised as Waishni Daikumukuras. <laughs> no, not not Waishni Gate. This is homegrown <laughs> dire gentleman terrorism. When I was saying I hope that nobody would find out about that, it was about my my laundering of money and other contraband through Waishni <laughs> Dakimakuras. That's why you were on Twitter asking people for them. <laughs> yeah, well, Waish. Did you know that Weishni is actually slang for crack cocaine? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm actually dealing drugs in the names of Ruby characters. And Yang is ecstasy. <laughs> and Blake is actually Blake Tar Heroin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that's fucking amazing. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, On that note... Do you want to hear the next one? Now, this is magical because this is an interaction between two different commenters, and you have to hear mm -hmm. it all. So, for context, Gus has probably even put them on screen, but my, like, uh, avatar that we made for uh, the Lesser's Morgue website that Gus uses to, like, represent me in these videos... That I drew. Mm -hmm. Yes, that Meg drew, is this image of me, like, pulling, like, a fake face off. As yeah, pulling I'm, his like, face off, and he's person. got lizard skin yes. underneath. And um, this person... Uh, on one of the videos that that was used on, commented this. This is from Shadane, who has a uh, furry icon. Shadane. Now you've got to, you've got to wait for this and the like reaction for full effect. So Shadane says, "I hate to tell you that your reptilian friend isn't safe on this planet, with how many humans these days think that all reptiles are naturally evil." And then <laughs> someone called Charlie G responds with. Now, I'm not a speciesist, but if ever I see a, da a darn lizard in the 7-Eleven, oh my god, you don't even want to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh no, you found my alt. <laughs> you found my alt account. I'm going to address you directly, Charlie. Why would you say this about lizard people? Oh no. Don't you realize that they're people too? Because obviously just... a lizard person decked him and stole his wallet in the car park around back yes. of the 7-Eleven. How did- were you there? <laughs> yeah, I was the lizard person. <laughs> Charlie, they walk among us. Some of the lizard people are our close friends. You- you would think with all of the conspiracies directed their way I that know. you would be more <laughs> nicer to them. It's true, it's true. I read- I- I read the, uh, I read the lusty Argonian maid in Skyrim. This ki when, when that kind of objectifying content. Oh no! <laughs> the lusty Argonian maid is just race fetishization for lizard people. Yeah, you need to read some good literature, like Kenku Cross's Monster Girl Encyclopedia. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so. Speaking as an eldritch abomination American. <laughs> Speaking as a reanimated American. May God have mercy on all our souls. I'm joking. There's no such thing as God. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. God's a monster girl. So, are you guys ready? <laughs> I only have one comment left. This is the final. Oh. It's the final. Yeah. I, I see it on his final screen final and I'm final. having heart palpitations. Give me, give me it. Give me it. Let me know. All right. Give me that good stuff. I'm scared. Okay, give me the so good news. Brace yourselves. Oh, I'm scared. Someone I, hold my hand. I am going to need everyone's help in, like, not laughing like because the thing is i'm gonna have to summon up all of my stoic british everyone. powers to remain dead everyone give henry your sobriety shoot your sobriety into him please comment in the in the comments henry you can do it yeah yeah if you believe in henry say clap harder than that you need to clap leave, harder leave than a that. comment in support of this welcome to the dire gentleman pantomime in support of this king leave a comment <laughs> leave a comment give your energy to him leave it leave it in go Subscribe and hit the bell if you want to give me all my oh. power. Anyway, Subscribe. or the game master will get him. Yeah. Is is everybody ready? Yes. This is from an account called Ave Maria. 
uh, dove emoji, black heart emoji, dove emoji. The second I say the first word, Gus is going to lose his shit. And it's going to be so hard for me to maintain composure. Pinhead created the hellhounds to be a protector for Kirsty as she continues to search for her father with Tiffany. Her boyfriend never quite recovers from their ordeal. He becomes a patient at Dr. Chenard's Institute of Mental Health with the remaining staff and patients who survived. Julia, no longer in love with Frank Cotton, misses her doctor lover and asks Leviathan to bring him back. Her request granted. Dr. Chenard comes back looking like his self, looking like his doctor self and even more obsessed with puzzle boxes. Dr. Chenard beings back his young doctor prodigy who thinks it was all a horrible nightmare. Meanwhile, <laughs> Pinhead makes Fezenk Cotton whole again and sends him to Kirsty's father's house that is magically, quote-unquote, restored. Frank is given specific instructions to keep an eye on Kirsty and Tiffany to protect them in unseen silence. Kirsty and Tiffany get discharged from the hospital after they are found alive after the hospital massacre. They thought Dr. Chenard was murdered, not knowing he was the monster. Dr. Chenard has a new mindset and new research obligations. Kirsty and Tiffany were discharged before Dr. Chenard returned from hell with Julie, uh, sorry, Julia as the new head nurse. Kirsty and Tiffany move back into Kirsty's father's house. They clean up and make it their own. For some reason, Kirsty boxes up and keeps all of Frank's stuff and puts it in his new head. Wait, what? It puts. No, it's it's all right. It? Take your put, time. Puts puts it in puts, it, puts it, it in the attack. Yeah. Now realizing that, like her father, her uncle is also imprisoned by the puzzle box, and she needs to try to help him to somehow. But how? She can't trust him. But she knows he's suffering because she mistook his message for her father's. Could this mean her father is in heaven? Or is he trapped somehow because she opened the box? <laughs> Kirsty gets Tiffany a job at the pet store where Cricket Man watches, seeking out the remaining puzzle boxes, but like Frank has been warned by the Hell Priest Pinhead to remain unseen and silent. Tiffany's innocent torments Frank Cotton, as well as he is known is Luce Morales' women and thinking of all of them as all as disposable and worthless. Tiffany is learning to adjust to society in the 80s of Britain. Frank is falling in love with Tiffany and finds himself drawing again. His back tattoo was the last piece he ever drew. Now all he draws, writes, and tries to communicate with her in her dreams by changing Tiffany's nightmares into somewhere safe and beautiful. Tiffany has no idea who Frank is. She thinks he is an angel sent to protect her. Kirsty visits her boyfriend often. His inability to recover saddens her as her presence makes him relive the trauma. Kirsty decides with a broken heart she must stay out of his life forever. With years of Kirsty's absence, Kirsty's boyfriend slowly forgets and becomes well enough to be discharged and he and his family think moving out of the country is best, thus moving to America for a fresh start. Pinhead knows Kirsty is not giving up um, and forgets become well enough, uh, not giving up on saving her father. Pinhead also knows that his heart has started to beat and only beats when he thinks about Kirsty. Her brave, innocent spirit haunts him like a beautiful dream he doesn't want to lose. How can he win her affections? How could Kirsty ever love a monster? I'm working on a personal creative outlet for therapeutic and creative purposes on what I wish would have occurred. I plan to tie in all of Hellraiser movies only by sticking to the integrity of Clive Barker's original Hellraiser first four movies and the Telltale Heart book and the Hollywood Girls Club celeb escorts who are electronically stalking and harassing me and stealing my business ideas, my poetry, oh, my artwork, what? my writings, especially my version of Hellraiser. They have made a virtual reality porn torture, SM snuff, baby murdering and eating in Owen Schroyer's, Mark Dice's, Paul Joseph what? Watson's, Mike Cernovich Media, and somewhere on the dark web. They made several of these my creative intellectual property. Their other version is much more evil and illegal. They call it angels to some, demons to others. In this virtual reality game, you can brutally torture, demonically rape, abuse sadistically, and murder female avatars. My Cora, no. My avatar is in both 
or more of their virtual reality torture SM porn snuff games. My code name is Sleeping Beauty. These wealthy men and their celeb escorts are profiting from these games illegally. This is Clive Barker's property and money royalties. I've been working on this my whole life in my head. My first personal version of my masterpiece is titled Heavenbound. It's how Kirsty and Pinhead start to fall in love. Uh, squiggly hyphen balance squiggly hyphen. My name is Libertad Begona. I'm 39. Maria I'm, Libertad sorry, Begona. Maria Libertad Begona. I'm 39. I'm in the process of proving my stalking club celeb prostitutes like Millie Weaver, Leanne Mercado, Candace Owens, Erica Wolf, Kim and Chloe Kardashian. Yes, this is extremely embarrassing. Along with Paris Hilton, who use this illegal <laughs> gang symbol throwing Hollywood prostitutes. Illuminate is short for prostitution sex cult. I am not a whore, nor can they turn me into a sex kitten prostitute. Thus, instead, they rip me and my family from our business ideas to my writing and poetry and art. Owen Schroer got me into this hellish situation. His prostitute harem and fellow soy boys are abusing M and my daughter. This is my way of helping the poly know who is responsible in the event of my demise. P.S. Because I'm into Hellraiser, they want to make it look like I make. Uh, they want to make it look like a, a crazy YouTube Hellraiser fan who is reading my heavenbound creative writing. Must have become obsessed with me, tracked me down, and tortured me to death in some hellish way. Millie Weaver, Leanne McAdoo, Candace Owens, Erica Wolf, Alex Jones, Roger Stone, Eric, and Steve Trump. Uh, Owen Schroyer, Mark Dice, Paul Joseph Watson. Mark Cernovich, Steve, Amy, Amanda, Brittany, Tiffany, Ivanka Trump, Stephanie, Chrissy, Michael, and fellow soy boys and ladies join or die club with Snake Lodo. Other than that, I believe Jesus Christ is keeping me and my daughter safe by heavenly and hellish ways. I pray to finish my work and become a psychologist once my daughter starts school. I'm learning how to do my estimates at the moment. Please pray for us. God bless and Jesus made creepy green heart. That took such a hard I turn. Am I what am the, like, what, what the hell? The fuck. I feel like I've aged 14 years. That's, yeah. Yeah, that, oh that took God. up so many brain cells. I don't know where I am God anymore. Damn. That's, are that are was, you. Is everyone I, oh back? My, the whiplash. Did everyone come the back? Tonal, the tonal whiplash I have <laughs> from that comment. Holy I'm shit. I'm going to feel down my spine for the rest of we my are, life. We are like. That went from. Is total whiplash that went so from, bad you feel it in your tailbone? No, tail like, bone. yeah, like we've. Yeah. What? Like, I feel like I've bruised my coccyx. That really. Oh my god. God damn it. Like, oh that god, went my. From I a, had a, an unwarranted backdoor Hellraiser sequel pitch. My. To. My back is stiff too now. Oh my god. Strange conspiracy. Ah. Oh. A strange conspiracy about. Hollywood escorts and Paul Joseph oh, Watson. So, um, so wait, Alex Jones and Paul Joseph Watson were the soy boys the whole t time. I and like, but like also, they want to convince us that they are a Hellraiser fan on YouTube, like a crazy Hellraiser. But that's the conspiracy as well. And but like. That's what they want That's you what to think, they, yes. But, but who? On a on a quick aside, on a quick aside, hey. on a very serious note, Them. I hope this commenter is okay. Yeah, no, absolutely. Because this absolutely. this is the one I'm the most worried about. D d yeah, yeah, no. no. This is Jesus who, Christ like, is, is clearly quite Ooh, unwell. This yeah, I, but, um, this is this was uh this that comment alone was an odyssey. I think I think that uh, yeah. boy oh boy like. <laughs> After that, I feel like I need to fucking lie. I got down. no words. I have Ugh. no yeah. words that I can I muster feel like I'm just in reaction to that. So, uh, share your Hellraiser fan theories in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> if you got, um, if you got a pitch for a sequel to Clive Barker's Hellraiser, then leave it in the comments. Yeah, if you know what the fuck is going on, if you have Pinraiser X Kirsty fan fiction that you would like to tell us about. Yeah. Pinraiser. Yeah. Oh my Pin god. Pin it's my OC based. I just said original character do not steal. Self. That sapped from me. I, I said Pinraiser pin instead raiser. of Pinhead. Original pin. character do not steal. Yeah. Pin do not pin, steal. Pinraiser pin from my favorite movie Heaven Lowerer. <laughs> <laughs>
fucking pinraiser. Pinraiser for my favorite mo- movie, Hellhead. Hellhead. <laughs> <laughs> from Jesus. you know that famous movie, Hellhead, starring yeah, Pinraiser. Yeah, from, from by from Chive Porker. By, Order by him Parker. on your local menu. Chive Porker. Blive Parker. <laughs> Blive Chocolate. Um, <laughs> I hear that's debuting on Vizzy Pop Club. Any day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the real Pizza Planet was uh. the Clive Barkers we ordered along the way. The real Pizza Planet is the Cenobites Hell Dimension. <laughs> that yeah. is the Pizza Planet. Oh shit. So, so I guess in a sense, what we're really doing here is asking the people well, in, invoking the the diehards, the die gentleman fan base, like. These are the comments you have to beat to get into the next one of these we yeah. do. <laughs> I am I am so glad that you weren't just like, the, Dire Hearts, all of the fans, this is the conspiracy you have to unravel yourself. Listen, <laughs> listen, I know what you all are capable of, huh? I know that you've committed vehicular manslaughter. I know that you deal the white schnee. I know all sorts of things about you, and I know you're capable of this. Get to the bottom of this, figure this shit out, and then get back to me. And tell your friends and tell your family to subscribe to Die a Gentleman.